So first off, we're going to draw a line that comes down, starts to go in a bit more, straightens at the bottom just for a little bit, goes up and like that. So it's this is like a U-shaped sort of design. This is going to be her chin. We're going to draw like kind of like an easy chibi style and we're going to keep on drawing. So we're going to draw some ears. So we'll start here, draw some ears like that, one ear, two ear. Perfect. Now we're going to draw her hair. Um, so we're going to draw a line up and it's just going to come out a little bit because her hair is sometimes a little bit messy in a fun way. And then we're going to go up. This is going to be the part. And we're going to go up and over. Swoosh! Like that. And then we're going to put in a couple other little more zigzags here. And there's her hair coming down. Now we got to do the inside hairline. So we'll go like this. Swoop. Do a couple little zigzags. There's her hair. And coming down. Same thing. Perfect. Um, now I'm going to switch over to a fine marker to do some more detailed work. If you don't have a fine marker, you can use a black pen or even a pencil if you like. Whatever you got. Or just keep using what you already have. So we're going to draw her mouth. So we're going to draw a big sort of smile face like this, a big smiley face. And then we're going to connect it just by curving up a little bit and across. Now we're going to give her some teeth. There's some teeth and a tongue. Perfect. Now we're going to draw her nose. We'll just draw a nice little nose like that. And then we're going to move up and draw her eyes. So the eyes are going to be, we're going to start with two pretty much straight lines, like that. Then we're going to draw some curved, big curves to connect on either side. There we go. Now we're going to draw the uh, colored part of her eye. Same thing, we're just going to do a big swoop. And now inside there we're going to draw a pupil. So we just draw a circle. And then we're going to put a little circle drawn inside it and then another little circle. And that's going to be the glimmer of the eye. So we're going to color in all this stuff and not those two little circles we drew inside the pupil. And that gives it a kind of glimmery effect. There we go. Perfect. All right. I'm going to move on. I'm going to go back to my bold marker and we're going to draw Ellen's body. So we're going to draw um, right from here. This is going to be the neck area. We're going to draw all the way down to here with a kind of a swooping out sort of motion and then swooping back in like that. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to draw a line that's kind of the same triangular way. And right here we're going to go start going out and down and around. And that's going to be Ellen's knees right there. We'll see it in a second. So we're going to draw some shoes. So we're going to draw a little bump out that goes down, kind of flattens on the bottom diagonally up a bit. And the same thing's going to happen over here. We're going to do a little bump out, flattens on the bottom a bit, and goes up a bit, like so. Now we're going to connect these. This is going to be Ellen's leg. And so we're going to go, it's going to be a big sweeping motion all the way around. So we're going to go all the way up, start to go in, right to the middle, and then down, and then back down to the bottom, just like that. Perfect. Now we're going to draw, she's going to be dancing. We're going to draw, because she's always dancing, right? We're going to draw another arm. Well, another arm. This is the first arm. So we're just going to make it easy and draw a rounded sort of hand. Same thing down here. We're going to draw another hand. And then it goes up. So there's her elbows. And now we're going to switch to a fine point marker again, or you can just keep using whatever you got. So we're going to give her some sleeves and a nice cuff. She often wears a suit. It could be uh, something going on there. We're going to give her a, a blazer top. So we're going to draw one line down and another line down. Make sure they get wider at the bottom. And then swoop it over. Swoop it over. Perfect. Now we're going to do the uh, blazer like cuff, or I don't know what they call that, like the flare. I don't know. 
I'm not sure what they call this. It goes up, collar maybe, like that. And then we do another little jut out and up. Same thing on this side. We go diagonal up, in, and then make another little collar piece there. Perfect. Now we'll give her um, an inside shirt and this may be a sweater vest or something under here. And then another little shirt hanging out underneath the sweater vest. Cool. We finish off her pant legs by putting two little curved lines down here. And now we're going to finish off her shoes. She sometimes wears Converse and other stuff like that. So I'm just going to put a sole on the bottom, another sole on the bottom here. And then we're just going to put a bump on the front. And that's her shoes. You can put a zigzag, a couple X's for uh, laces, X's for laces, and uh, we can put some fingers. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, and then just one last thing. We just have to add Ellen's eyebrows. So we got one eyebrow, two eyebrow, and there you have it.